Morea returns to Mondika, hoping to gain insight on the role female Western lowland gorillas play in their groups. She reconnects with a family led by the patriarch Kingo. There's a new development in his world. One of his females is in estrus and ready to mate. When the silverback is ready to mate, he makes this, this deep grunting sound and his whole body trembles and vibrates. And it lets the females know that, hey, I'm, I'm ready and willing. But which female is it? Emily just initiated this mating. It was in Kingo. In this case, it's the young newcomer named Emily. And she presents herself face to face. Observing this type of mating is extremely rare. It was never seen in Mandika until Emily introduced it. Mating is not something that happens very often, and the chances of actually being able to observe it in the wild is unbelievable. It appears Emily is the one in estrus, but then other females solicit mating. First is Mama, the mother of Kusu. Then Makome, also weaning her son Akendi and ready to mate again. Maria finds it unlikely that they've all come into estrus at the same time. Why are females soliciting to mate if they're not in estrus? It could be a way of them competing with other females. It could be a way for the females to maintain or solidify the relationship, the bonds that they have with Kingo. Could just be that they like it. None of the females is actually dominant over the others but they do appear to be competing for Kingo's favor in their own subtle way. The question of female choice is a really hot topic in primatology. But the females, they're not just following blindly. They have the ability to make choices, such as not mating with the silverback, such as leaving the group, and all of their choices influence the silverback's ability to lead. And that, in sum, is power. <laughs> 